am at the PRI show at the Edelbrock booth, and I am joined by Pat Musi and Vic Edelbrock. How are you guys doing? We're doing good. Nice to meet you. Actually. We're doing great. Good to have you here. So what do we got going on behind us here? Well, we got this table full of cylinder heads here, and it represents all the people that work on our heads, and we give them these heads, and they show the public here what they can do with them. But uh, we have a feature here uh, on the 18-degree big block head that Pat and I kind of put together and we had an idea let's make it and why to make it and uh, make it different than what's out there and uh, Pat's uh, is very good for us because he's right in the middle of it and can give us that fresh ink. Right Pat? I appreciate that but you know it's a funny story how all this started. I originally went to work with these guys on the nitrous stuff and Vic said I'm going to take you up to the foundry and show you the foundry so we go up to the foundry. And I was so impressed with the foundry, I said, why are you making race car heads? And he said, well, we really don't know what to make. I said, well, I'll tell you what to make. You can make it better than anybody can make because you have the foundry. And that's how it really got started. And, you know, look where they've come. They've come a long way. You know, I mean, they got, I, I really still feel right now it's the best casting out there. And, and then we brought a lot of people into the deal and we can explain some of that, right, Jeff? Well, let's talk about the 18 degree head, which is one of the first projects you had to start and we decided you know rather than make all the stuff real killer stuff and uh, heads that would go on a pro stock car we want to give the guy something that's reasonable works great for that guy that uh, we aimed at and that's what we made in our uh, manifold and cylinder head for the uh, 18 degree big block chip. What we did was we wanted a cylinder head. The 18 degree head is really hasn't changed in 20 years. Uh, Pontiac came out with it back in the pro stock days, you know. I said, you know, we need a entry level head for the guy that wants to run that head, but it's kind of got a bad rap because of valve train issues and uh, easy to work on. You have to spend hours grinding push rod currents. I said, we need to make something that won't fall apart and it'll just bolt on. The guy can take it out, put it on, and bolt it on. Instead of this all out racing thing, there's nothing to it, you know, and uh, that's what we did. And we brought Danny Jessel in, and one of Danny's deals now, and we kind of stick with this whole program, is Danny wants to get involved before we ever, they ever cast a head. So, kind of explain a little bit what are these all lined up back here, these cylinder heads? Well, these are racing cylinder heads, and Edel Brock goes and prepares. Uh, cylinder head for the for the uh, the user, the preparer that builds the engine, where they can they can tune the heads in, put the kind of port in that they want, put the metal where it should be, and, and get the performance results that they need. These guys that are making engines run today with a high horsepower that they have, it's because of the cylinder head, the manifold, the people that prepare it, like Pat, that put the whole engine together and, and, and go from there. We are the only manufacturer of racing heads that makes a full line of manifolds for each of the cylinder heads that we prepare. So we match the two. If you're going to need a manifold, you're going to need a cylinder head. So I want to take you over here and show you uh, our newest manifold, which is a split type, and it's uh, just come out, and we're first showing it here with the PRI show. And we're going to have the D-man, Pat, tell us what they're, why they're so great. Go ahead, Pat. Well, Vic, I think you've really done a great thing here. You know, a four-barrel intake is the hardest thing to port. This one here, you can see, has been finished, but if it was one piece, it's really hard to get in here. Now they've made it where you can do both halves, simplified it, and if you want to make a change like Vic pointed out, you could always disassemble it, put some epoxy in it, try things, make it bigger. And another hidden advantage that I don't know if anybody's explained is you've taken all the heat dissipation out of the runners because you've separated the motor. Now, I'm, I'm a big fan of the valley pan, you know, and it's so kind of a little hidden deal that comes along with the manifold, makes it neater, yeah. Thanks, guys, for explaining those advantages for me. If you want to hear more, go to www.edelbrock.com.